Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing Galaxy Digital's Q3 earnings are skyrocketing. Galaxy Digital, a financial firm specializing in digital assets and blockchain technology, has reported that its over-the-counter trading desk reached record volumes in the third quarter. This new report is, as they stated, signaling that institutional uptake of cryptocurrencies is on the rise. The company's Q3 earnings report showed an astonishing 75% year-over-year increase in trading volumes as it reached approximately $1.4 billion. The increase was mostly attributed to an expanding counterparty base, the rollout of Galaxy Digital's electronic trading platform, as well as the continued growth of the company's crypto derivatives business. Assets under Galaxy Digital's management totaled $407.4 million at the end of the third quarter, and the assets included $82.4 million in passive Bitcoin and index funds, as well as $325 million in the Galaxy EOS VC fund. The latter represents a partnership with Block.1, a blockchain merchant bank that founded EOS. Galaxy's Bitcoin funds under management increased by 17.3% in the third quarter, while its large-cap crypto index fund made a 32.3% return. The company was still able to turn a profit. Its Q3 net loss amounted to $44.6 million for the quarter ending September 30th. Galaxy Digital was founded in 2018 by a well-known billionaire and crypto evangelist, Mike Novogratz. The company was founded in an effort to bring more institutional investors to cryptocurrencies. Novogratz said in an official press release that Galaxy Digital is in the process of preparing itself for the incoming wave of institutional adoption ahead of digital assets as well as blockchain solutions by investors, corporates and governments. When comparing the 2017 bull mark to the current one, we can clearly see that the earlier bull run was largely driven by retail fear of missing out, while the euphoria surrounding Bitcoin in 2020 is quite different, as it's largely tied to institutional uptake. All the evidence shows that institutional investors are flocking to Bitcoin in far greater numbers in the fourth quarter. Grayscale's Bitcoin Trust experienced record inflows at the start of November, putting it back on track to reach an astonishing 500,000 BTC by the end of 2020. That number would amount to roughly 2.7% of Bitcoin's current circulating supply. On top of that, institutional investors such as Paul Tudor Jones and Stanley Drunkenmiller also not only own Bitcoin but openly talk about its potential benefits. They have both touted the cryptocurrency's growth potential in the current environment. Bitcoin's price has broken the $16,000 key level, and despite any shortfalls in the coming future, Bitcoin's long-term potential is extremely bullish. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.